Hello friends, in this tutorial, we will see a C sharp program to count the number of vowels and consonants and other alphabets in a string. We are going to use the for each loop for finding the characters is either vowel, consonant or other alphabets. First, we declared a string variable st and by using console.write, we are displaying on the console enter a string. And by using console.readline, we are taking the string and storing in the variable st. Now to count the number of vowels, consonants and other alphabets, we are using different variables. V count for vowel count, C count for consonant count and others for other alphabets. All are initialized as zero. So all these variables are of integer type. Now we are going to use a for each loop to take each character from the string. So for each, the data type is char and C, C is a variable in ST, ST is a string. So from the string, each will be taken at a time and stored into the variable C. So it will first take the first character from the string, next second character like that. Now inside the for each loop, now we are checking whether the character C, the variable C is holding the value either A to Z, small letter, or capital letter A to Z. So if the character is either between A to Z capital or small, then the character will be either vowel or consonant. So inside the if statement, now we are checking whether our character is a vowel character. If it is between A to Z, either small or capital, then now we check inside the if statement whether it is vowel characters, whether the character C is either A, E, I, O, U, capital or small. First, we are checking whether it is small. Then we increase the value of V count by one because that is vowel count. Else, we are checking whether the character is vowel capital A, E, I, O, U. So if it is capital A, E, I, O, U, Still, we are increasing the value of the variable v count because it is a vowel. Now, in the last else conditions, we can say that if it is not vowel, definitely the English alphabet will be consonant. So we increase the value of the variable c count outside the else. So if the character is not English alphabets, definitely it will be other characters, it can be special characters, space, or it can be numbers, numeric characters. So that all included by using other variables. So we increase the value of others in the else part. If the character is not A to Z, either capital or small, then the else block, we increase the value of others variable. Outside the for each loop, we are displaying all the informations by using console.write. First, we are displaying the total number of characters by using the string variable. We can display the total number of characters by using the string property length. So st.length will display uh, the number of characters in the string. And similarly, we are displaying number of vowels, number of consonants, and number of other alphabets with the respective variable. V count is the variable used for number of vowels and C count for number of consonants and other alphabets are represented by using the variable others. Now execute and see the program output. Now in this program you can modify for counting the number of digits also. So you need to count the number of vowels, consonants and the number of digits present in the string and other alphabets. So if you are able to modify that Kindly comment below.